Jabulile Zulu of Imakobeni got the shock of her life when she tried to apply for her child's disability grant last year. She was turned away by Sasa after being told that she was already receiving a salary. The Sasa system showed that she had in fact been working at the Etequini municipality since 2017, something that she firmly denies. The situation has left her desperate. With the family living below the breadline, she is also concerned that her ID number is being used fraudulently. I appeal to government to intervene in my case and investigate who is using my ID number and earning a salary at Etzegwini Municipality Parks Department. This has caused havoc in my life as I'm unable to successfully apply for a disability grant for my child. If they find that person, she needs to be arrested. I want justice. This is fraud. I, Chabulile, have never worked for a Tseguini municipality. I'm merely a security guard till today. I have no clue how that person managed to steal my ID number. According to the SASA system, the ghost employee has been working since 2017 using my name. SABC News notified regional SASA officials and Sulu's plight. They corroborated her claims and accessed her records. It confirms that she is still employed by Etiquini Municipality. Meanwhile, the Etiquini Municipality says it will investigate the alleged ghost employee matter. It's for the first time that we have got a case uh, of this nature. And as a result, we are going to move with speed uh, to conduct an investigation to ascertain the veracity of these reports. Uh, we have recently conducted our own uh, internal audit not even one incident whereby we have picked up a ghost employee. Because uh, we do believe that indeed each and every cent of taxpayers' money uh, must go towards service delivery. Earlier this year, the Msunduzi municipality in Peter Maritzburg moved to freeze the salaries of 121 people feared to be ghost employees. The municipality revealed that both employees who were deceased and others who had resigned still appeared on the city's payroll. The city has since conducted a physical headcount of all its employees. Jade Paulser, SABC News, Durban.